Hey guys, welcome back to Stolen Ships, where every day is a new day to learn something new. Today we're going to be learning how to make a Python program to send emails and maybe a little having a little fun with it too. Um, so first we're going to make my, a new Python file. Uh, we're going to call it email sender. And we're going to import two main modules called um, smtplib and SSL. So before we get started, let's learn a little bit about the technical technicality about, uh, about it. So what is SMTP? SMTP is nothing but the simple mail transfer protocol or it's basically a protocol for electronic mail transmission. And what is SSL? SSL is nothing but uh, which is, it's a layer which establishes security between uh, the client and the internet. So basically it establishes is a secu secure connection so hackers don't hack into the, your uh, uh, connection and take information valuable data from it okay so um, let's get started so first you want to write in your um, email address as a string and your password password as a string right now obviously I'm not gonna show you guys my email address and password for security reasons so I've actually made another Python program right here to fetch me that so I'm just gonna call it um, I'm gonna call import my mail information and I'm gonna assign it um, my mail information dot my mail dot or no let's first make a object me okay and my email is gonna come from me dot uh, mail address and my password is gonna come from me dot password okay so uh, for you guys you guys can just enter it right here but for the layer of uh, security I've just made it like this okay next you want to obviously write who you're sending it to their email address so we're gonna say receiver equals to for now I'm just gonna say myself so I can show you guys that it actually works and now we're gonna make an SSL context. Now, uh, what is an SSL context? So before we answer that, let's make it by SSL context equals to SSL dot create default context. Now, what is SSL context? SSL context is nothing but a collection of ciphers, protocol versions, and trusted certificates to help you establish your SSL or secure connection. Okay, so that's basically what that is. Now let's make the connection. Connection. We're going to make an object connection. Connection equals to SMTP lib dot uh, SMTP SSL. So we're going to follow a uh, uh, simple mail transmission protocol uh, in through S SSL fashion. And we're first, what we're going to pass in through is our SMTP server. Now, what is an SMTP server? Right now, my email address is uh, from Gmail. So Gmail has its own SMTP server. So SMTP server is nothing but a computer running SMTP. Now, if your email is gmail.com or hotmail.com, they all have their own SMTP servers. So if I if my email is uh, using Gmail and my uh, receiver is using Hotmail, you're going to send your mail through SMTP to your SMTP server, which is a Gmail server. It's going to go to the internet go to your uh, receiver's ho hotmail server or whatever server they're using and eventually to the user itself right so first we're gonna try to make a connection between us and our smtp server my smtp server which be because i'm using gmail it's gonna be smtp gmail.com okay if yours is hotmail or whatnot all you gotta do is uh, write a google search right here and you can eventually find out what it is okay so uh, after you've done that, you're gonna want to write in your port number. Now, what is a port? Uh, port is basically a network and uh, end, end, end line of a network where you can es uh, basically establish connections from your router. So the port number for uh, uh, for uh, SMTP is uh, be, uh, for one of these numbers: 25, 465 and whatnot so you can establish your smtp connections through these ports um that's what that is and here we're just going to write context equals to sl context 
okay after your connection is set over here the object you're gonna want to log into your connection right so connection dot login and you're gonna write in your uh, email address and your password so it's gonna be email comma password okay after you've done that you're gonna want to send send the mail so you're gonna write send mail so you're gonna send it from your um, email address to your receiver and you want to send the message right what message are you trying to send so let's make a message string right here I will make it multi line string and um, this message let's say this message is from Python okay and let's just make sure that it's from us so we'll just say from stolen chips okay and we'll pass the message right here and to make sure our uh, program is working let's just make a simple print statement uh, saying your message is sent and let's run this and we have a problem right here it says uh, socket dot uh, okay guys give you one second Hey guys, uh, I just made a small mistake over here. I put SMP, it's, it's SM, it's smtp.gmail.com. So if we run this again, we gotta wait, wait, and there we go. Your, it says your message is sent. Now if we go over to our Gmail and if we reload it, as we can see, we have gotten our email. Now we can obviously abuse this by putting a for loop over here so let's just put a for loop for i in range let's just give it <laughs> zero to thousand and let's put this in indent and let's start our email spammer basically so as we can see one message is sent another another so as we can see guys <laughs> we are basically spamming ourselves and you guys can do you guys can spam your own friends by writing the receiver with their email address um <laughs> yeah that's pretty much it and if you guys there if you guys do encounter a problem uh with so, something of your email address with your login um so the couple of problems that might occur is your email might um, have a two-factor uh, authentication so uh, with that you guys can't actually log in of, um, so you, you would want to disable that feature and secondly uh, you would want to turn on your less secure app access from the email you're trying to send it to so uh, if you guys are using a Google uh, Gmail account so you, these are a couple, couple of steps you guys have to make sure uh, to take care of and there we are we're basically spamming ourselves so if you guys like this video if you guys found this uh, useful please do like uh, share this video and subscribe for more thank you